Hello dear students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Shizayas from Department of Botany, Division of Science and Technology, University of Education, Township, Lahore. The topic for today's discussion is forests, their importance, the process of deforestation, various causes, impacts, and finally how we can control all these types of uh, defrustration, desertification and conservation, forest conservation. So let's have a look on first what are the forests and how they are important to us. Forest. A forest is a large area of the land dominated by trees. Hundreds of more precise definitions of the forests are used throughout the world incorporating factors such as tree density, tree height, land use, legal standing and ecological functions. So according to a widely used definition, um, according to food and agriculture organizations definition that is FAO, forests covered 4 billion hectares that is 15 million square miles or approximately 30% of the world's land area in 2006. So, forests are the dominant terrestrial e ecosystem of the earth and they are distributed around the globe. They account for 75% of the gross primary production of the earth's biosphere and contain 80% of the earth's plant biomass. Net primary production is estimated at 21.9 gigatons carbon per year for the tropical forests and many other figures are for the uh, other type of the forest like temperate forest and boreal forests also. So forests at different latitude and elevations form distinctly different ecozones like the boreal forests around the poles, tropical forests are present or located around the equator and the temperate forests are at the middle latitude. Higher elevation areas tend to support forests similar to those at higher latitudes and the amount of precipitation also affects the forest composition. So human society and the forest influence each other in both the positive and the negative ways. Forests also provide ecosystem services to the humans and so as a tourist attractions. Forests can also affect the people health. Human activities including the harvesting forest resources can negatively, negatively affect the forest ecosystem. So what do we think of when we hear a term which is called as a forest? So we can say that it is a place with trees where animals and the birds are alive. Or it can also be said as a place where we hunt. So a forest can also be defined as a community of trees including shrubs, herbs and associated plants along with various type of organisms that cover a considerable area. Forestry was established in 1862 as a source of food and provided ecosystems. So the irrigated plantations were first started in the year of 1866 that covers about 4,860 hectares of that area. So the two most important forests of the Punjab are the Changamanga forest that is the Pakistan's largest man-made forest was planted in 1866 by the British foresters. It was the largest man-made forest but undergone illegal deforestation at a massive scale in the recent time. And the pH of this forest is varies from 
7.6 to 8.1. It is planted, the Changamanga forest is planted forest which includes a wildlife preserve in the Kasur area and the Lahore district of Punjab, Pakistan. It is located approximately 80 kilometers southwest of Lahore. It is also known more widely as one of the oldest hand planted forest in the world as it hosts a wide variety of flora and fauna. The forest is home to 14 species of mammals, 50 species of birds, 6 species of reptiles, 2 species of amphibians and 27 species of various insects. Thus. Other than producing timber for the local industry, the forest also serves as an important wild, wildlife reserve. The next forest we have is the Chichawatni forest. It was the second largest plantation in Pakistan. In 1923, British government started the forest plantation of Chichawatni. The width of that forest is just 2 to 5 km, while length spans 35 km. Chichawatni plantation covered a total forested area of approximately 3600 hectares. The soil pH value of Chichawatni plantation is 8.70 on an average. And this forest is also used by various agricultural University of Faisalabad for various research purposes. It is located in the city of Sahiwal district, district of the Pakistan province of Punjab, which is situated near the old main road, GD Road. It lies approximately 28 miles from the district capital, Sahiwal. And these are the two most important forests of the Pakistan. There are various other types of the forest that may include littoral and swamp forest, tropical dry deciduous forest, tropical thorn forest, subtropical broad-leafed evergreen forest, subtropical pine forest, Himalayan moist temperate forest, and as well as Himalayan dry temperate forest, alpine and the subalpine scrub forest that are present all around the world. So, why we what or what do we think that what is the importance of forests? The importance of forests can be underestimated as we depend on the forest for our survival from the air we breathe to the wood we use, besides providing habitats for the many animals and the livelihoods for humans. Forests also offer watershed protection, prevent soil erosion and mitigate the climate change. So according to a an estimate Pakistan covers an area of 87.98 million hectares, in which forest covers about 4.57 million hectare area. In the year 2012 to the 2013, the land under the forest in Pakistan estimated was 4.26 million hectares and 4.55 million hectares during the year 2013 to 14 whereas this figure going, is going to be a decrease in the year of 2015 to 16 onward that decreases to some extent and it also followed by the deforestation process as forests are a major source of oxygen for the environment and ensure the survival of living things existing in a region. So Pakistan is also known for its forests and about 4% of the country is covered with the forests. The forestry sector of Pakistan is the main source for lumber, paper, fuel wood, 
latex and the medicines. Forests also provide an environment for the conservation of wildlife. According to the FAO 2007, due to overexploitation, deforestation is taking place at the rate of 0.75% per annum. This means that the annual rate of deforestation of natural forest is 27,000 hectares. And this information is stated according to the facts enlisted by the forest department assessments. So the land occupied by the forest in Pakistan has fallen from 3.28% in 1990 to 1.91% in 2015. So how we say that they are important because forests make up the biggest part of the ecosystem to support the wildlife that is the birds, animals and the insects of different varieties. Forest wood like the wood from the forest provide for the fuel to warm the homes, build the houses and various kitchen uh, practices including the cooking purposes, a lot of trees. Uh, and the tree products have the high medicinal value and the forest hold many such trees in those particular geographic locations or the regions. Forest covers help in providing us with enough oxygen that we need to breathe. So this is because as the trees take in carbon dioxide gas, they release the oxygen that human beings and the animals need in order to perform various functions. Forests also play an important role. Uh, they help to reduce the level of soil erosion. Like this is through the roots that hold the soil, hence preventing it from being washed away by the runway water. How they help us to breathe like forests pump out oxygen that we need to live and absorb the carbon dioxide we exhale or emit. So a single mature leafy tree is estimated to produce a day's supply of oxygen for anywhere from 2 to 10 people. Phytoplankton in the oceans are more poly prolific, providing half of the Earth's oxygen, but the forests are still a key source of providing the good quality of air. They also play an important role in the process of water cycle, and this is where they release water vapor to the atmosphere which help to form the clouds that bring rain. Overall, they are also controlling the whole climatic changes in our environment. Next, we have the topic of deforestation. Deforestation is when the forests are destroyed by cutting the trees and not replanting them. The most common reason is to clear the land to make the farms and ranches. Deforestation also destroys the habitat of many animals leading to their death. Deforestation, clearance, clear cutting or the clearing is the removal of a forest or a stand of the trees from the land which is then converted to a non-forest use. It also involves conversion of the forest land to the farms, to the farmland, ranches or the urban use. The most concentrated deforestation occurs in the tropical rainforest that covers about 31% of the earth's land surface by these type of forest. 
and according to an estimate study tells us that in 1985 all over the all around the earth was covered 74 percent was covered with most of the trees while only 26 percent area was deforested in the year 2000 it was reduced from 74 percent to 58 percent and the deforested area represent here in the year 2000 43 percent while the situation becomes quite changed as there is a further reduction in the trees or the forest in the year 2005 and the deforested, uh, deforested area becomes equal to the forested area of the Pakistan in 2005. 2010 deforestation is further increases like from 50 to 56 percent and finally in the year 2020 it is the uh, situation is quite alarming as deforestation is representing here is 67 percent while we have only we are only facing with the forest land is covered by the forest is 33 percent so major causes of deforestation is the agricultural activities that is the primary cause of deforestation like the trees are cut down for use as building material or sold as fuel in the form of timber or the charcoal while cleared land is used as a pasture for the livestock and plantation so the vast majority of agricultural activity resulting in defrustration is subsidized by the government tax revenue so forests are vanishing day, day by day for our selfish need resulting in defrustration in the 19th century with the advent of industrialization defrustration even rose to the bigger numbers as depicted in the previous figure so the country is cleared the frustrated area of the land for the purpose of agriculture and due to huge demand for food products many trees are cut down to grow the new crops next cause of defrustration is the logging and the fuel wood wood based industries like paper matchsticks or the furniture etc they need a large amount of the wood supply for outgrowing population forested area clear to fulfill the demand and the wood is also used as the fuel this lodging or cutting down tree in a forest to harvest the timber for wood products or the fuel is a primary driver of deforestation so the forest canopy is important to the forest ecosystem because it houses and protect the plant animal and insect population it also protect the forest floor which slow down the soil erosion there are actually three main types of the lodging like uh, the major groups of timber harvest practicing are clear cutting, shelter wood, and selection systems, while each are different and are applied to the specific forest types. As they have three things in common, they provide wood fiber for thousands of everyday products. Forest fires many of the trees are lost every year due to the forest fire in various parts of the world and this occurs due to the extreme warm summer and the mild milder winters some fires are incidental while the majority of them are deliberate a wildfire is an uncontrolled fire in an area of the combustible vegetation occurring in the rural areas so depending on the type of vegetation present a wildfire can also be classified more specifically as a brush fire bush fire desert fire forest fire grass fire hill fire peat fire and the vegetation fire so many organizations consider the wildfire to mean an unplanned and unwanted fire while the wildland fire is a broader term that include 
prescribed fire as well as a wildlife fire use. These are also called as monitored response fires. So the fossil char charcoal indicate that wildfire begins soon after the appearance of the terrestrial plants 420 million years ago. So Forest fire always start by one of the two ways like natural caused or by the human caused. Natural fires are generally started by the lightning with a very small percentage started by spontaneous combustion of the dry fuel such as sawdust and the leaves. On the other hand, human caused fire can be due to any number of the reasons. Actually, in the forest, there are three basic types of the forest fires, like the crown fire that burn the trees up their entire length to the top, surface fire that burn only the surface litter and the dove, whereas the ground fire, sometimes called underground or the substance fire that occur in the deep accumulation of humus, peat, and the similar dead vegetations that become dry and uh, that become dry enough to burn. Next major cause is the urbanization. Like our population too directly affect the forest over forest cover as with the expansion of cities more land is needed to establish the housing and the settlements. So the population shift that is leading people to move from the rural area to the urban area is also contributing to the defrustration that is 5% according to FAO. And this urban growth in which 68% of the world population is expected to live in the cities by 2050. And approximately it is leading to an exponential growth of the housing and consumption rate sites. Uh, as the cities become larger so that they can host more people. They, they also face the challenge of the natural boundaries surrounding them, often leading to defrustration. And this is one of the reasons why defrustration is happening. A secondly or lesser factor linking the urban growth through defrustration is that cities are often expanding into the areas of farmland and natural habitats including the forests so according to one estimate urbanization may cause the loss of up to 7.5 million acres of prime agricultural land each year forest diseases like many diseases caused by various parasitic fungi, rusts, viruses, they cause death and even decay of the forest plant, ultimately destroying the whole forest. Mining A lot of forested areas are rich in the minerals and they are vulnerable to the mining operations, including coal and oil mining require the forest land as mining is generally very destructive to the environment. It is one of the main causes of defrustration. In order to mine, trees and vegetations are cleared and burnt. When the ground completely bare, large-scale mining operations use huge bulldozers and excavators to extract the metals and minerals from the soil. So, as a result, a lot of forested areas are rich in minerals, uh, Apart from this, roads and highways have, have to be built to make way for the trucks and other equipments. The waste that comes out from the mining polluting the environment and they also having a uh, affects the nearby species. Another cause of defrustration is the overgrazing that refers to the excessive eating of grasses and other green plants by cattle. It results into the reduced growth of vegetation, reduced diversity of plant species, excessive growth of unwanted plant species, soil erosion, and the degradation of land due to the cattle movement. So overgrazing in the forest destroys newly regenerated growth. It also makes the soil more compact and impervious. It also accelerates the soil erosion process. 
Livestock also graze in pastures which are managed grasslands or enclosed meadows, usually planted with domesticated grasses or other forage. So, overgrazing occurs when too many animals graze for too long and exceed the carrying capacity of a range land area. Limited data from the surveys in the various countries indicate that overgrazing by the livestock has caused a loss in productivity in as much as 20% of the world's rangeland. So there are various effects of the deforestation that I will define in the form of one pictorial presentation like deforestation. It may have direct and indirect effect resulting to the global warming when the, tree, when the trees are cut down and burned or allowed to rot. Their stored carbon is released into the air as carbon dioxide and this is how deforestation and the forest de degradation contribute to the major global warming effect. Defrustration can directly lead to the biodiversity loss. When animal species that live in the trees no longer have their habitat, they cannot relocate and therefore become extinct. So defrustration can lead certain tree species to permanently disappear, which affect biodiversity of the plant species in an environment. Like billion of the pollinator bees lost their habitat. Deforestation devastates biodiversity and the natural habitats and degrades the natural resources as well. In the longer run, the loss of biodiversity, habitat and these natural resources will affect the food production in both developed and developing countries. But the most serious consequences of them all may be the global warming, like billion of people they are depending on the forest for the food, fuel, and their livelihood. Recent studies have focused on the dramatic effect that deforestation can have on the climate change and how in turn this can affect the world's food supply. This is the food insecurity. And the reduction in the rainfall and snowfall would lead to the water and food shortages and greater risk of the forest fire. So you can see all of these reasons and effects are related directly or interrelated with each other by affecting our forest covering the major land portion of our earth. So this was all about the importance of forest and the, the deforestation, major types, their causes and effects. Here is a list of all references. Thank you very much.